Hi guys, Rose here with the Kakuli Moon. This is going to be your weekly energy reading for the week of August 26th through September 1st. So this is the final week of August and we are just going to dive right in. I'm going to start with my, <clears throat> my earth signs. And so my earth signs, we have High Priestess, the Autumn Equinox Release, and we have the Five of Cups. So my earthy signs, this is a time for you this week to release some of those hidden feelings, those doubts, those regrets, okay? That Five of Cups, what does that Five of Cups represent to you guys? Is there something that you keep focusing on? Is there something that you keep allowing yourself to bother you? Is there something that you keep going back on? Is there something you regret? Five of Cups is a card of regrets. Um, but we're asking, the, the cards are asking you to release this week. So let go of those regrets. Let go of those things that are holding you back. Let go of those those feelings, those emotions that are no longer helping you, that they're no, no longer getting you through the day, basically. They're actually hindering your growth. They're hindering your ability to move on. Um, it's also blocking your intuition because I feel like that high priestess is actually blocked from the regrets, from those emotional those emotional obstacles that you're allowing to keep within yourself is are you allowing them to stay or these people to stay in your life because you're afraid of pushing them out are you afraid of getting rid of those those feelings because you feel like you're not allowed to feel anything else at the moment are you harboring grief are you harboring um guilt in some sort um, so those are things that you're going to need to start to learn to release this week. And you'll probably start to see themes of releasing um, and start really tapping into that intuition, that intuition part of yourself, trusting your own intuition and making your day-to-day -day choices based on your intuition and not your ego, okay? So you guys have it cut out for you this week, um, tapping into a lot of that more somber stuff, okay? Okay. Um, we're also in the, the season of Virgo and Virgo is really good with cleaning things out. So I could see why for my earth signs, you guys are really feeling the need to clean. <laughs> okay. My air signs. So air, we have death. We have dance celebration and we have the Hierophant. So my air signs, you guys are feeling good this week. You guys are coming through the transformation. Some of you guys have already sacrificed, okay? There's been a sacrifice that has happened within you or around you in your, in your home life, your work life, um, your love life. Um, not always negative sacrifices, but something changed, okay? Um, so this is a week where you're really going to start to be able to celebrate the, cha the decisions that you made, to celebrate the changes that you've made, to celebrate the recent endings and the opportunities that are now going to start opening up to you this week. Um, the Hierophant energy is to really stay kind of balanced and stay within your lane this week, okay, my air signs? Um, Hierophant energy is a lot of... Of rules it's a lot of like strategy there's a lot of like ways to go up to work your way up the totem pole and I'm feeling like with you guys the Hierophant energy is kind of saying you know stay within your means follow the rules before you kind of like start to see your little wormholes through it um so I feel like as you're starting to maneuver your way through this change to maneuver your way through some of the recent um so some of the recent endings in your life and some of the recent changes, transformations that are happening around you, air signs, um, you're just starting to get used to this new phase, getting used to this new person that you are or this new relationship you may be in or this new job that you're taking on or whatever the case may be, whatever this recent transformation was, but also celebrate your, your, um, your successes because it does take a lot of um, courage to do changes and to accept it. Um, it takes a lot of courage to move into uncharted territory. And so I feel like you guys need to allow yourself that time. Um, that, so that Hierophant energy is kind of reminding you guys to be practical this week, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Like even though you're celebrating your successes, still be practical, stay within your lane, within your means this week, get your stuff done, you know what I mean? Um, and then you can probably let the hair down and have some fun towards the end of the week. My fire signs. Um, we have temperance. 
We have lightning power and you have the five of wands. So that five of wands, are you in odds with yourself? Are you in competition with someone else? Okay. There's power with that though. There's power with that. I feel like this is for a lot of my fire signs. This is fighting within yourself or proving a point. Okay. Um, the temperance energy though is asking you to approach this powerful time in your life. That powerful energy that you are exhibiting. That need to express. That need to, you know, maybe not compete with people. But maybe to set an example. To do so in a more practical, calm, peaceful manner. The temperance to me is peace. The temperance to me is patience, okay? Um, fire signs are quick to be very abrupt, They're to be very like, um, they lay it out like it is, right? You guys tell it like it is. And I feel like, and I just saw five, five, five. So I feel like for you guys, because this is a five card, I feel like some of you fire signs are really challenged with keeping the peace, being patient to, <laughs> to, um, to choose your words wisely. You know what I mean? Like you, when you get so fired up about something, you want to be just aggressive and, and take it on. But the temperance card is asking you, even though you're feeling that power and you're feeling like the need to maybe have a confrontation with someone or to maybe not start a fight with somebody, but to actually like, you know, stick up for yourself and it could turn into a little bit of an argument um coming through that setting with a peaceful mindset is going to be really beneficial to you fire signs this week so you have a lot of power within you but you also need to be wise with your words and wise with the, your approach to things okay and then lastly my water signs we have the emperor we have river movement and the ten of pentacles so we have a lot of abundance, abundance flow. This could be a lot of, um, you know, little, little things happening this week. A lot of little tasks that we need to do. We might be quite busy. This to me looks busy. Movement and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> this looks like busy energy to me. This looks like a lot of people needing our attention. This is a lot of energy coming around. This is a lot of spirit connections. If some of you water signs who are mediums. Um, and then we have the emperor, which is a leader. An emperor is a leader. An emperor takes charge. An emperor is fearless, okay? An emperor stands up for themselves. So when you're seeing yourself, maybe um, some of my water signs, you know you're going to be in store for a very busy week. Um, it's going to be very important that you guys hold yourself up, okay? Hold yourself up and remain strong. And the only way that we know to do that, water signs, check your energy levels. Make sure that you are grounded and ready to go. So my tip for my water signs is to make sure you ground yourself before you go, okay? Before you get out for the day, ground yourself because you're in for a very busy week um, and there's a lot of energy happening here that I see. Um, and so you're really gonna need to be a leader, a, a, to be a voice of example, I see this as, okay? My fire signs, I feel like for you guys, this is the throat chakra that you need to learn to tame to get some better control over the throat chakra, the way you communicate and express. Um, for my air signs with this, I would say maybe, um, this could be maybe sacral chakra energy for you guys. This could also be, you know, cause you're dealing with the change and transformation, your footing. So making sure you are grounded as well. And then my earthy signs with you guys dealing with the, the pretty much with the high priestess, that third eye energy. Um, so I feel like it's also third eye energy for you. Um, focusing on that. Um, this week so just a little bit of the chakra energy points to put in there for you guys for the week um, but overall that concludes your weekly energy reading if you guys have any questions please leave them below um, but otherwise I have a beautiful week and no matter what happens just do your thing be yourself smile and um, focus always on the present always on the present and aim forward to your future. Okay? Bye loves.